Yeah, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation here. And I really have to admit that this is a very, very special day for me also personally today. Thanks to the uh, good cooperation with the colleagues of Bombardier, but also with the colleagues of Fred and Whitney, and of course uh, with all the others who were participating in assembling this aircraft and developing this aircraft, but also, of course, the good cooperation within the Lufthansa Group, which was helping us a lot, and of course here our colleagues, not just from the cockpit, but also from maintenance and all the surroundings. So how, what can I say? It's really a project of good cooperation. And this is a fantastic ex experience in the industry, which is so competitive, and where we fight every day for the last passenger to have colleagues around in the environment where you really can develop something, and not just something, but the new generation, next generation aircraft for the next generation of the next 50 years, maybe. And so this is making me personally very, very proud. Can we come to the next? So, as you know, we have 30 C-Series on order, which is a quite, quite heavy investment for a little company like Swiss. So it was really a challenging decision which we were taking to take this new generation aircraft. But finally we made it with an investment of nearly 2 billion US dollars, of course with the support of the Lufthansa Group. And as I already said, we are very, very proud that we are close to target and that we also will see this aircraft on Wednesday and Thursday in Zurich, that we can introduce it there. It is real, really there, it's live, it's flying, and uh, it was worth every penny and every second of investment. Uh, Rob was already referring to that, but I would like to show you the context of all these uh, implications and all these game-changing attitudes this aircraft has. Uh, from an airline perspective. So first of all, when we look at the ecological side, it's very important to mention that this aircraft is really reducing the carbonite print, uh, which is uh, not just for Swiss, but for the whole airline industry, a very, very important factor to reduce CO2 as we are committed through IATA to bring this down. And the C-Series will really be a big contributor to that because, uh, as you know, 30 aircraft, of, of course, uh, in the Swiss fleet is a quite high share. The same is true for NOx, so for nitro oxygen, which is reduced even by 50%. And more important even is the community side, as we are operating from uh, uh, close to city airport, and as we are operating to London city airport, as we anyhow operate this aircraft in Europe uh, to many airports which are close to the city, the noise factor is a very, very important factor. So 50% noise reduction is really uh, not just a number, it's really a game changer. It's also a game changer for us as airliners in the political discussion about airport infrastructure and airport infrastructure development, because with this uh, noise footprint, which is less than one third of the footprint of an actual aircraft, we really have arguments, and thanks to Bombardier, these arguments are now brought to us and we really can work with this. Then, of course, the customer is a very, very uh, important factor in our life, as you know, because by the end of the day, he's playing the game, uh, and the customer will get much more, not just uh, a new aircraft, but wider seats, more convenience on board, uh, bigger view out of the huge windows, so I just, uh, I thought I would have to say, uh, so never book a little seat, but I learned just recently, so 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago, that you even can book a middle seat and have a good view uh, outside the aircraft because the windows are so large and it's really convenient, it's light, it's friendly, it's fresh, and this is also something which is game changing. And uh, where, and uh, this you will see then later on in 2016 when we have the Swiss cabin in there, where we can even improve the given situation which we have there, because we will fly even with more modern seats than you actually have there. And last but not least, and uh, in the industry which is so much under margin pressure, this is uh, of course also an important factor: is the commercial side of the aircraft, 25% less cost compared to uh, existing. The fleet, of course, is uh, really making, uh, hopefully, not just our PL but also our balance sheet 
uh, more attractive, uh, not just for us as managers, but also for the capital market. And therefore, it's really strategic investment to the future and not just, as I said, another aircraft. So, next. What we see here is a service or the entry into service which we will have in 2016. So we will come here with uh, roughly 10 uh, C-Series 100, which we have on order so far. The 100 will replace the good old Abrus. You know this little aircraft is a four engine, so more engine than aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> so here this uh, the other way around. So we will have the 10 um, aircraft introduced into service in 2000, 2016 and early 2017. And now I can announce that the next bunch of aircraft will not be the CS100, but the CS300. So we just recently were doing the commitment and the decision together with Bombardier that uh, from 2017 on we will bring the CS300 into service for the Swiss fleet, which is even more a game changer because uh, this aircraft, due to its bigger size, is even more efficient than the CS100 is. And of course, will contribute even more, not just in comfort, but also in commercial. <coughs> and all of this together will lead to the effect that with the introduction of uh, the further 10 uh, C-series aircraft, where we still have to decide how many 100s we will take and how many 300s we will take in 2018, that, you will see it now on the next page, we will have one of the most modern fleets in Europe, bringing the aircraft age, average aircraft age down from nowadays 16 years, and uh, we will half an inch more or less in the next four years, no, not half an inch, uh, we will bring it down by five years, six years, seven years, uh, until 2018, and we will half an inch until 2020 with the uh, introduction uh, of the C-Series fleet, which of course is uh, helping us uh, very much also in terms of next generation management because this shows that we are really committed. So we're bringing fleet age down, we invest a lot of money, we are committed to the Bomber TC series program because finally roughly half of the European <coughs> fleet then will be operated with and from Bombardier in the Swiss environment. So it, it is really a high share of uh, production we will have there and therefore of course we need a higher reliability and I'm sure that Bombati and the team will guarantee for that. So far so good. So with Bombati we will find the future and last but not least before we see a little video I just want to say a word I can say here because uh, Bombati is not just producing aircraft as vehicles but also other vehicles. So in the future, I'm sure I will stand in Zurich and some people will see an aircraft and say, Ooh, I see the noise, because it's not noisy anymore, as we learn. <coughs> and uh, by the end of the day, the community will learn that taking a train is uh, more noisy than flying this aircraft. And wow. this is the biggest, program, <laughs> the biggest progress we can have, because uh, we as airliners are uh, very much uh, dedicated to our community and this I think is the highest appreciation we can bring to the community not just in Zurich but anywhere else in the future 50% less noise is something. Video run. <coughs> From 2016 Swiss will gradually begin replacing its Avro fleet with the modern short and medium haul C-series aircraft from Bombardier, becoming the first operator of the CS100. As the launching customer, Swiss played a major role in the development of this brand new single aisle aircraft. The C-series is equipped to efficiently meet all current and future operational requirements. Fuel consumption is considerably lower, thanks to the groundbreaking engines of Pratt & Whitney, <coughs> optimized aerodynamics, consistent lightweight design, and high-tech materials. The C-Series jets emit 20% less CO2 and 50% less nitrogen oxide in similar types of aircraft. And the noise level has been cut by half. easier with 
state-of-the-art onboard systems and a clearly arranged ergonomic cockpit. The low level of noise in the cabin ensures a relaxed atmosphere and the storage bins close upwards, giving a greater feeling of space. With their innovative design, the new seats, developed by the specialist Sim in collaboration with Swiss, offer more space, legroom and comfort. The large windows, arranged closely together, allow more natural light into the cabin and provide breathtaking views. <coughs> C-Series, flying into the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.